Hello everyone, Nina Heck, the Outreach Director from St. Margaret's here, just to give you an update today about our upcoming event, which is the 5th Annual Christmas in July. Um, thankfully, Father Kevin reminded me this week about this event, as we'll begin on July 4th. And as you notice, you know, in the summer, hunger never stops. So there are some splashes in here of perishable items as well as non-perishable. And currently with our current pandemic, there are many people reaching out to these pantries. Uh, this program is a partnership we have with Hartford Community Action Agency. Uh, and so what we're gonna do is the week one, which is the weekend of the 4th of July and the 5th, we will be collecting personal cleansing items such as shampoos and body washes and soaps, but also soups breakfast bars, granola bars, and protein bars. Week two, July 11th, July 12th, we're going to go with the toothbrushes and toothpaste, and keep in mind this is for the children as well as the adults. Razors, shaving cream, feminine products, lotion, deodorants, pretty much anything a personal item that, that people can benefit from. And in week three, July 18th and 19th, we're looking at paper towels, toilet paper, dishwasher soap, which everyone always needs. And then we'll end the month, week four, July 25th, 26th, with dish detergent, laundry detergent, canned corn, and canned green beans. The vegetables are something that they go through quite a bit. Um, so you can see we have a little bit of both as far as food items as well as cleansing. Um, most of the people that we work with have, that, that are reaching out to the pantries have food stamps, which will help purchase their uh, food items. But of course, it does not purchase these taxable items, the non-perishable the non and the, or the cleansing items. So this is very important that we're able to stock them up and help to carry them through because the next big drive for a lot of these pantries will not be until Thanksgiving and Christmas. And on that note, I would also like to add that Calvary Baptist has reached out to us for our cooperative food ministry. And what we're going to try to work with them for the month of July is to share some of our casseroles that you drop off here at the mission and over at the church. Um, we will have them picked up and, and delivered over to Calvary Baptist and use those for the nights that our teams would have served. So this is just a beginning. Uh, it allows us to help with the community uh, in the Harper County Delaware area that are in need of meals. Uh, we'll figure this out as we go along. And maybe just a reminder, Father Kevin and I have spoke about with most of the ministries we're looking at, them really not coming back in until phase three has been implemented and the Archdiocese gives us the approval. Um, we also would like to make sure that you understand for anyone who wants to continue to bring food to the mission and to the church, that's fine. We will still be allowing St. Uh, Francis will be coming here on Sundays to pick up their food. And we've been working with uh, Prince of Peace in Edgewood. Uh, they have a tremendous need. And then of course the other will go to the Harper Community Action Agency along with our Christmas in July. So I hope that brings you up to date with everything and I wish you all a wonderful 4th of July and happy summer.